Magic is uh, a multiplayer trading card game. I'm very passionate about the game. I think it's it's uh, it's one of the most interesting and entertaining uh, game that I played. It's given me an outlet, uh, more of an outlet than I tend to see some people have. Anyone can play Magic, and anyone does play Magic. It's just not it's not a thing for for one set group of people. It certainly changed my life. Yeah, without it, it would be far less colourful. Magic the Gathering uh, is the TCG, which stands for Trading Card Game. Uh, it was conceived in 1993. In fact, next year it will be its 25th anniversary. And we'll be celebrating 25 years of this TCG, and I believe it is one of the oldest ones, if not the oldest. Basically, top and bottom of it is a card game. Uh, all revolves around the cards, secondly, mostly the players. Uh, so you're collecting cards uh, from packs or from boxes of packs. Um, even digitally nowadays as well. It can be played between anyone between two players and 10, 11, entirely up to you, depending on the size of the game that you want. So two birds, three birds, uh, going to magic. So only six, eight. with one stone. <laughs> Wait, with one mask of one. Thank you. The themes relating around magic is a lot of, uh, can be high fantasy, uh, can be steampunk. The story allows it to develop into a lot of different types of themes. Like yeah, it's about strategy and you know things like that. It's a collectible card game in all of its essences. So you know, buy, sell cards, trade cards, play with your friends, all that stuff. Yeah, that's what it is to me. Well, I guess the majority of the people would look at it like nothing more than a game is, uh, which is uh, partially true. For me, is is yes, a game first and foremost. But at the same time, it's also an excuse, uh, well, just an excuse to like switch off from the rest of the things going on. Trying to get a hobby and actually find people that also partake in the hobby tends to be difficult, and I'm kind of glad I've got magic. <laughs> Why are you showing it? <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> what? And then just discard it again. Sometimes it's just an excuse to have, uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to use the term some sort of social life uh, uh, without, uh, uh, without what can be the burden of it. Uh, sometimes you, all you need is just to interact with other people on any level, but sometimes, but you're not always in the mood to do so. So even just having a game of magic, even just uh, talking some shit and even just uh, being around people uh, for that day or that it's moment is good enough. So I think the greater appeal to people who play magic is community. Um, magic is built around friendship groups. 99% um, of the time you're playing with people who you, who you know either through immediate friendship groups or groups you meet on Friday nights at you know social social clubs. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> Why me? Because <laughs> it's your torches. <laughs> fuel my happiness. <laughs> uh, quite a tight knit group of friends. Like we've all known each other quite a long time now. Uh, all started with chance meetings in uh, like local card game shops. When I first started, it was something that I played in passing. Uh, a friend of mine mentioned it, and he had a few cards. Uh, and he was. I, 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 first of all, that caught me. Caught my eye was the artwork. As I started to pay, take the game a little bit more seriously, and I started to collect more of them, uh, there's advertisements where it was like you could go to things called Friday Night Magic, which was basically uh, like-minded players who play the game themselves. Uh, it's more more of a casual level, not so much like tournaments and grand prix and things like that. But uh, so we all went along, and you play games and have fun, and, and you trade cards afterwards and you know there's prizes and it's 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 all about meeting people and you know sharing the game that you like and that's sort of how I got into it and why I play it to this day because it's such a social element you know. I started playing Magic about around four years ago. A close friend of mine at the time got me introduced. Um, she started playing it and would start telling me things about it and because she suffered uh, from mental health uh, problems like depression similar to me she suggested uh, using it as to kind of help with uh, as a coping mechanism. Yeah, so like, Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember 
remember legacy. <laughs> I use magic to to see people who I may not get a chance to see very often, or in that it's because we work different schedules, or I live away, or we just don't spend as much time together as we would have done because of magic, um, and that is the sort of big driving force in it all. Um, but also because it's it's fun, you know, it's like it's not. It's not a boring game. We don't just sit down and just you know concentrate for an hour, forty-five minutes, couple hours on cards. We use that as a base to speak about anything from movies, films, chat, general nonsense for you know days at a time. Um, and you know that that's really the, the best part of it. Yeah. We've all come from different walks of life, but find this like common common thing that we just play and enjoy to this day it doesn't really matter what's going on it could be doesn't matter what time of the day it is weekends whatever wherever we're free we can always just we, we always know we can get together and just what do you want to do magic <laughs> yeah. it's a good sort of like staple in, in the friend group group i think brings it all together it's nice you could go why i would definitely say magic has changed my life like um one of the uh it's like for my upcoming birthday, I'm actually getting a tattoo dedicated to magic purely because it's it's had that sort of deep impact in my life. I can, I can see friends and it's, it's, it doesn't always have to be about the day that I've had or the week that I've had. It can just be about that that game, that like few hours. That it's, it's, like a, it's a great escape at that point. I'm kind of glad to have magic in my life because aside from a way to distract my mind from depression and things sometimes, it has led me to meet some really genuine people in my life. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I do not like about it. It's it's it does it simply does the trick for me. It 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 gives me the chance to, as I said, take my mind off things, meeting with friends, play a game that I like, uh, keep my brain going. So when I still play decks that I played a million times. I still find the little things that I did not think about. I still find the the, the details that I've missed the, the first hundred times around, and uh, and it, it it it's it's one of the reasons why this never gets old. It's one of the reasons why this is always entertaining, and it will always be entertaining for me. Magic influences a lot of people in a lot of different ways. For some people, it's a job in, in the way of plural players. For some people, it's a way to cope with certain issues. For me, it's, it's brought me my best friends.